This guy left a comment that I've heard quite often. And he says, uh, I'm tired. I'm kind of tired of girls unable to have direct communicating. Makes us wonder if we suck that we're getting ghosted. So this is a response to my pull away test video where I, that, that video is my most popular one on my page. And in that video, basically I say that if you start doing things in the dating process that maybe give women pause or cause them to feel the ick or make them see things about you that they didn't see beforehand, then they may start to pull away, especially if you're there too much. If you're constantly trying to text her and trying to spend all this time with her in the beginning, she may start to pull away. And subconsciously, that's her way of regulating the dating process for herself because she needs time away from you in order to miss you and in order to feel things for you. And sometimes as guys, we're so on them in the beginning that we don't allow that to happen, right? And so I've said that when women pull away, that doesn't always mean that they're gone for good. It may just mean there's a reset. So this guy is saying, you know, he's kind of tired of girls being unable to have direct communication. So what he's expressing is that he wishes that women would just come directly to him and say, hey, so you did this thing and it gave me pause or you said this thing over here and I didn't like the way it, it sounded or what it implied about you. And so that's why I'm having these feelings right now. Right. So men always assume that it would be better and that they would like it more if a woman just came to them and were just completely 100 percent direct about what they were feeling and thinking. Now, as I've said on the show before, in women's experience, when they do that early on in their dating life, what they find is that when they come to men directly and say, hey, so I'm feeling this thing or this thing happened or you did this thing and I didn't like it, the response they get is pushback. It's fighting. It's men telling them, well, my intention was to do this and I didn't mean it when you took it this way. So how dare you? And it's not a thing where women feel heard and understood. And enough men do that to where they think, OK, I got to clearly come up with a more passive way of dealing with these situations, because when I try to be direct, I get pushback. And so over time, women just learn, hey, like he doesn't know where I live. He can't really find me. So if I just go ghost and stop talking to him, then he can't bug me. You know, as guys, you guys are probably still going to try to like overextend yourselves by sending a bunch of texts and stuff that they're not going to want. But the point is that that's why girls do that. Right. And so guys saying that they wish women would communicate more directly. One, they're not taking into account that a woman has probably tried that before. She's probably tried being direct and it wasn't in her favor. But here's the other thing men don't take into account is that direct communication in terms of asking for directly what we want, that is very much masculine communication. Women in their own little world talk very passively amongst each other and they just get it because they're empaths and they know based on being around women long enough that a woman saying a certain thing or doing a certain action on the surface might appear to mean one thing, but she's going to be reading down into deeper layers. This is why I tell you guys that women typically read three times more into communication than we do. It's because they've been reading underneath communication their entire lives. That's also, by the way, why when you as a guy go to a woman early on in the dating process and say, hey, by the way, I really like you. I, I see a great future with us together. You're thinking that's just factual information that you're dropping that has no emotional intent behind it. And what she's reading it as is this guy already loves me and wants to marry me. And it's date three. So that's why you as a guy should not be the one to talk about feelings and stuff like that. But suffice to say, yes, direct communication is a masculine style. If you are a guy that is looking for a feminine woman, then you got to take what feminine energy actually means with the good and the bad. So yes, feminine energy is caring, is soothing, is smelling nice, is appearing in a very girly way that's you know at times sensual and at times like very endearing. But that also comes with a woman not always being as direct in her communication about what she wants verbally. Now, this is not pertaining, by the way, to most of the time, emotions. Like women will come to you and be like, you know, so I was really sad and I was heartbroken and I felt this thing, blah, 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 like all that stuff. But in terms of her giving you, telling you directly what she actually needs, that's going to be a bit of a fight in the beginning because as she's trying to fill you out, she doesn't know what level of directness she can actually use with you that's not going to make you see her in a negative light. That takes her time to feel out, you know? When I've been in my dating, in my dating process, I've had to say several times, Hey, you know, so I know what you're trying to say and I get that, but you could just say the thing, but, but, but I give them grace about not doing it early on because they don't know me. They don't know if they talk directly to me, how I'm going to take that or how I'm going to respond to them because they have their own history of that probably going bad. So 
I, and also because I grew up around a lot of women, like my mom, my aunts, my grandma, my cousins, I learned over time that as long as you as a guy get and understand what she's trying to convey by whatever way she's trying to say it or do it, then you could just go ahead and act like you know what she's talking about. Like, for, like, for example, I, I like to use the example of, let's say you're the guy and you're the man that's supposed to take out the trash, right? And so if she comes to you and says, oh, wow, that trash is starting to pile up. That is code for, hey, dude, take out the trash. Now, it's a nicer, more passive way of saying it. And for her, she's figuring, if I say it like this, it's not me being that nagging, overbearing girlfriend or wife that's trying to tell him, you need to take out the trash. Why don't you take it out now? I'm just going to happen to mention that I just made an observation that the trash is piling up a little bit. And hopefully, as my guy who's been with me for a while, he'll get that that means take out the trash. Now, you as the guy are going to probably be annoyed by this early on because you're going to think she could have just said, take out the trash and I'd be fine. But you got to look at in her past, she probably had a guy she dated. But when she said, hey, dude, take out the trash, he was like, oh, you're treating me like my mom. Oh, you're nagging me. Oh, my God. And so you have to understand that, that because that's part of their journey, that there's going to be times when she's passive. The important thing is, if you as a guy learn and understand what these passive languages mean, then you won't be so annoyed when it happens and you'll understand what she's talking about. And I just learned in the, in the world of girl, here's a general hint for you guys out there, okay? If a woman mentions something at all, it's probably either bugging her or she probably wants you to fix it, right? So let's say she comes home one day and she's like, oh, I noticed this door's been squeaking. That translates to, dude, why haven't you fixed the door? You need to fix the door. Now, here's my question, guys. You guys that are wanting women to be direct, do you want your woman coming to you and saying, hey, why haven't you fixed this door? It's been squeaking for three weeks now. You haven't fixed it. Or do you want her to come to you and say, hey, I noticed the door's still squeaking. What's up with that? Like of the two, I'm sorry, the second version is a nicer way. The first version is more direct and I'll better understand her, but I will also be very, very annoyed that she came to me with such directness. Why? Because being that direct, guys, is masculine energy. And if you are trying to date a woman that you want to be in her feminine, then even though you don't want to admit it to yourself, her coming at you in a masculine way is going to make her appeal, uh, appear naggy and appear bitchy and all those other things that you don't actually want from your woman. So you can either try to get your girl to be more direct and then you end up hearing her be direct all the time and it feels like masculine energy to you, or you could learn to read what it means when she's doing this very passive language, which again, is not hard to learn. Again, if a woman mentions it, it's probably important to her, even if she's not mentioning it in a very intense way. Like if she comes to you and says, you know, hey, I noticed you still haven't like, uh, let's see, oh, say you're going to get gas for the car, right? Hey, so did you get gas for the car yet? Now, she said that three times, right? And you're thinking she's just saying it as a random conversation piece. She wouldn't mention it if it wasn't important. So if, you, if it's been your third time where she's coming to you, hey, so have you filled up the gas yet? You need to be like, babe, you know what? I'm so sorry. I meant to do it. I'm going to go get the gas right now. Now, that saves you a fight because now she knows that you were able to hear her and she didn't have to jump down your throat and be like, it's been three times since I asked you to get the gas. What's going on? Blah, 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 blah. So hopefully you, you're better understanding now of why it is that it's not the worst thing in the world for women to not be so direct with us. As long as you are able to read and get what she's talking about, it doesn't matter the language she uses if you understand it. But that goes to you have to get better at understanding feminine communication. If you need help with that, you can go to introvertdatingsuccess.com. You can sign up for my coaching program where we go over things just like this. We talk about and give lessons on the various ways that women are going to try to communicate with you that right now are probably frustrating you. But once you understand them, you'll actually be able to get along with a lot of women. They'll feel like you understand them a lot more. And as a result of that, they will stick with you longer. And by the way, you don't have to talk in their style of communication for them to like you. Like, just like you want a feminine woman she's and she's going to speak in a feminine ways, women that want masculine guys they want them to be direct. Like it's fine for you as the guy to be direct with them because they want to feel that masculine energy off you. When you are trying to excessively do passive language, that's when it starts to be a turnoff for them. This is why men that kind of hint at liking a woman, but don't just come out and say, hey, I want to take you out on a date. They tend to like not like those guys because they figure those guys aren't bold enough and aren't direct enough to ask what they want then they're not going to get it. And they're not, the girls aren't going to like that as a result, okay? So you have to also learn to be more comfortable as a guy giving more direct communication about what you want from a woman that you're trying to date. And there's, there's levels to that because this does not mean 
You go to this woman and start saying things like, hey, I, w- I really like you. I can see a future together and I have all these feelings for you. Like that's not the kind of directness we're talking about, but something as simple as like saying, hey, I want to take you out or hey, I think you're gorgeous. Let's go out let, let me get your number. Like those things are good enough to where she'll know that there's a level of like, but she won't know at what level. She knows you're inquiring enough to try to get her information to take her out, and which is, which is fine for her to know, but she doesn't need to know how high of a like you have for her because again, Early on in the dating process, as guys, we tend to have a lot of like, and it's too much for them to handle early on, all right? But yeah, you should still learn to be direct in what you're wanting from a woman instead of pussyfooting around, trying to hint at, well, maybe I like her, maybe I'll be her friend for three months first, and then, like, don't do that. That Women don't respect that. So hopefully that helps you guys out with that. You's a bad boy, but you can't stop, won't stop. Let's you are high-earning, high-value, high-class man. You are high-earning, high-value, high-class man. You are high-earning, high-value, high-class man. You are high-class man. You are high-class man. You are high-earning, 